Ooh, I'm excited for today's episode. Hope you guys are too. We are going to go out and find ourselves some bees. Where are we at? Why do you ask that? Well, we're in our new air ducts. <laughs> well, kind of new. Uh, we're getting these installed at the lab. Well, because we need airflow. There's going to be lots of toxins leaking out. And, well, we need... And it looks cool too. So <laughs> that's a work in progress. Where do we begin? I guess finding a flower for us. That might work. Getting my lovely wife beater tank top. We are ready to go. I haven't named you yet. Wait. Did I not know that was in another series? Um, where is it? I'm going to name him the same name here because I love, I just love the name. Uh, where's Nadwell? Bruce will do it. And let me guess, you still can't stand. Why would they fix that bug? Who would want that bug fixed? I don't want any of my pets to follow me. Oh, you can still stand. Okay. Anyway, wanted to check here. Click that over. Uh... There it is. What? Oh, there's honey bottles. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder what you can do with those. Hopefully drink them. How do you make that? You make that with nothing, apparently. <laughs> uh, is there anything? Can you make the... I don't think you can make the honey... What? Not the honey. The bee nests. All right. So just like last episode, we're just going to head off in some direction and hopefully come across a flower forest. I kind of wish it wasn't raining right now. Because it drops my render distance drastically, but I'll let you guys know if I find anything. This might take a while. I did it. I'm just kidding. We've already found this one. But I wanted to see. Yeah, I don't think bees will just spawn here like normal mobs. They have to have their nests, I assume. Oh, sponge witches, though. Gotta love them. <laughs> oh, man. Wait. Wait, have I been to this one? I'm still kind of close to home, as you can tell by my coordinates, but it is a flower forest. So if I'm not mistaken, I believe they spawn under trees, kind of like in that spot. And I don't think I see any. Okay, I was just at that tree right there and said, I don't think I see any. Bout hopped off and went that way, and I turned around and looked. Oh, there's another one right there. Guys, look at our coordinates. We are so close to home. Oh, this is why I love Minecraft sometimes. Is anyone home? What was that? Oh god. <laughs> Did you hear that? I'm gonna punch it. That's the first thing you can do. Boom! Oh. <laughs> Hello? Okay. I don't wanna risk it. I'm gonna do silk touch. <gasps> okay. That grabs it. Oh, I hope the bees are in there. That's what I was questioning. I wonder how you get the bees home. Now, this one I'm gonna test and just smack with my hand. Am I gonna regret this? Probably. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm poisoned. Oh, where are you going? Oh my God. I didn't expect that poison. Oh my God. What? Yeah, I know it was a dumb move. Am I gonna die? No, oh my Lord. Okay, good thing I still touched that one. Oh, we got one. I picked a bad day to wear short sleeves. Now I kind of feel bad. I just destroyed all of the nests here. There were only two. Okay, if we do get these reproduced, if the, is that one? No. I hope there is a way you can like make new nests. Um, if not though, I want to come back here and replant some. <laughs> I care about nature in Minecraft. Oh, never mind. The flower forest continues over this. Oh my lord. Okay, there's a lot left. <gasps> there's a bee. A wild bee. Hey. Oh, because there's a nest. Okay. Um, okay, so there's one here. I'm going to go find more. I, I'm weird. I don't know. I'll leave one, but I'm sure I'll find another. I want to get as many as I can. What was that? Oh, wait. Can I right-click it? Oh. Whoa, they make... Oh, that's so cool. So I'm guessing if you get close, they go in to defend it. And I'm assuming since they're in there and I so touch it, I can take them home with me. So I'm assuming that's how it works. Now, I'm... So I'm, I don't know anything about this. This is my first-hand experience. So we're going to go home and figure out how to get the honey out. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. <laughs> hey there. Got another one here. Okay, so maybe they don't just... What happens if I just take it when they're near me? That'll happen. Oh. This flower forest is huge. There's another one. I completely forgot about this area. 
This is so exciting. Oh, I just, how I love new features. Just bringing them home to this place just puts a huge smile on my face considering how long we've been playing on this world and we're still thriving in it with new stuff. Be nest. Now I noticed in my inventory that two of them are stacked and these ones won't stack. What about that and that? I'm guessing that means these are full of bees and these might be empty. We're back at the lab here. I think I want this room. Huh, so much wall space to choose from. It, it would make sense for this to go in the environment section, which is why I don't think I should call it the environment section. I think I'm going to call that the, like, the biome hall. <laughs> so I'm going to have it right on the end here. I think this will be a good spot. Little lab out of quartz, Dallas. It'll be a great idea, Dallas. <laughs> Finishing things up here. Uh, it's quite a while later for me because I had to go out and get a lot of quartz. Ugh, just so much quartz. <laughs> but it's looking all right. Um, for these type of rooms, when I'm, let's say, trying to replicate a lighting source, I'm not actually going to use sea lanterns. I think this redstone lamp would actually look best for that because it's the closest yellow tone next to a torch and lantern that kind of gives off like a sun vibe. This is going to be like a little chamber. And I'm going to recreate a little flower forest in here. All right, here it is. Uh, I really like it. I like how it turned out. And the more I'm building it, I'm thinking maybe I actually should have put it in the biome section and just call that whole section the environment section. But it's too late. Plus, it's part of an update. It's not necessarily about bees. It's about the things that come out of... Yeah, uh, I got this little thing over here. Just a little door transfer so I can get in and out. I even... I don't know why I added that, but I added lights in case they want to go night night. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm thinking, get one of these. So I'm thinking these are full of bees right now. Is is that is that correct? Um, so we're gonna go in here. I think I want a tree to be in this corner. I guess I don't. Oh well, I'm not gonna waste that. Well, I am gonna waste it. It's gonna be hidden by that block forever and ever you'll never know it's there okay so I want that right there and I think one right here and we're gonna hang let's just try it boom oh someone's in there okay this one occasionally makes buzzing noises like that so I'm gonna destroy this one pick it back up yeah so that does not stack what about this this is an empty one I assume Will it make buzz noises? It does not. So this is an uninhabited hive, which means I'm going to put up one that is habited. You'll buzz, right? Buzz. An alien. Do it. Come on. Okay, whatever. <laughs> and this one can go over here. Hopefully they'll inhabit that one. I'm going to go get some pollen up in here. Oh. Oh, guys. Look. They came out. It's interesting. Huh. Okay. So these guys... Okay, yeah, I mean, this is what this is for. We're here to experiment. <laughs> if I go in, will they just sting me? I wonder if that works like that. Don't sting me. Is that your little stinger or is that a tail? I think it's a stinger. So I think they will go in this one eventually. Let's go ahead and give them some foods. Do it again. Oh, what is he doing? He's dripping. That means something. Wait, he has spots all over his butt now. <laughs> wonder why that is. Whoa. He went in. <laughs> I wonder if they went in this one over here. I don't really know. Okay. Need some grass in here, too. Still can't right-click them. So I'm assuming that's obviously not the way to get whatever you want out of it. Remember, safety first. Oh, it's all making sense now. I put the flowers down. They got pollen on their butts. <laughs> they went in, got the honey in there. Oh, that is so cool. There they go. So I'm assuming now I can right click it. Is this the dangerous part? Will they get mad at me? Can I have your honey? Look, he's pollinating it. No, I can't. Smack it. Mm -hmm. 
Interesting. I want to figure this out on my own. I don't want to go to Google. Looks like they're doing some more pollinating. Interesting thing, though. They're ignoring this hive. Interesting, interesting. I got these down so far. Just kind of the basics of what they're doing. But that isn't... I'm going to have to note that. They will not... Oh, someone came out. They will not transfer to other hives. And I can still uh, not right click. So I'm assuming once they all go back in, I'm going to break it with silk touch and see what that does. Okay, so they've been at this same exact thing for a good 10 minutes now. I'm just going to put my brave face on and go in and poke it with a stick or my pickaxe. <laughs> all right, guys. Cool, oh, I knew it. I knew it. Let me out. I don't want to kill you. You are my test subjects. Let me out. Where'd they go? Did they go in this one? Oh my gosh. I need to write that down. I don't know where they went. It's empty. Where did they... I'm so confused. No, it's full again. Oh, how do I do it? I, I just need to look it up. I, I don't... I got a feeling I have to break it without silk touch. I'm, that's my guess. And we are in a lab, so I might as well just do it. Son of a... So I'm assuming they went back in that hive over there. Um, so I'm just going to throw one of these up. I don't remember which is which. We'll just find out. Oh, I think that one's full. Okay. They all popped out. They're going to gather their pollen, and then I'm going to have two full hives. I have learned an interesting new study we're going to put to the test. Hey, guys. Hey, I got a flower. Hey, hey, how you doing? Oh my God, they follow you. How cute is that? You want it? No? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, it does work. Where'd the other one go? Oh, you're above me. Here, take it. Oh, they're gonna make a baby bee. <laughs> okay, so that is how you breed them. You give them flowers. I did not know that. All right, I've learned all I could know by myself. Bees need flowers to produce honey. Yeah. <laughs> Once they gather pollen, spots appear on their behind. Bees will then proceed to drip with honey as they fill the hive. Once the hive is filled, it'll drip. Having another hive does not interest the bees to go to it, which is interesting. Don't break the hive while it's <laughs> Breaking hive with hand yields nothing. Bees are known to be found. Oh, yeah, and I found out they're not only in flower forests, but plains and sunflower plains. You guys helped me out with that. Um, no, follow if you flower care and you can breed them like normal, but that's all I could figure out. And I know you can get honeycomb and bottles of honey and well, I have to consult the gods now. So let's go to Google shares. Who would have thunk it? Shears. Now are they at level five? It said now they want to please don't attack me. Oh God. No, <laughs> no, they attacked me. No, give me out. No, no. Oh, God. Hey, I got some honey. Go. Oh, my Lord. I should have expected that. But I think there's a solution for that. Oh, my God. They are so mad at me. Uh, looks like I won't be getting that honeycomb. But I heard if you put a campfire under it or something, it'll calm them. Because if you do smoke out bees in real life, it does calm them. So, oh, are they calm? Oh, God. Oh, do I have to have... Uh, it's not smoking, though. Nah. Uh, it, I got a feeling I did it wrong. I got a feeling the smoke should be touching it. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to wait for that one to get pollinated. What? I didn't do anything. Oh, my God. They're still mad at me. Okay. We got three honeycomb, which means... I don't have a crafting table in here, which means beehive. Wait, what? <laughs> Isn't this called a beehive? Bee nest. Oh, what? That's so cool. I didn't even, I'm going to be honest. I didn't know the beehive was a thing. Okay. It doesn't do anything. I'm going to go put it in there. I'm assuming. Oh, they're still mad at me. I was correct. I was correct. So. Oh, 
That's what's aggravating them. Dang it. As soon as I put that down, they count that as their home. So I need to put that in there. Sorry, guys. I want this one to go right here. They said hover it because if you don't... Um, okay, let's test this one here. Is that directly under it? Wait, where is that? It's right here. <laughs> what? Where'd the pollen... Oh, I did it in the wrong one. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right. So if I do that and shear it, I don't get any honey. What? Did it go in the fire? What happened? Okay, cool. I lost the honey. What? Okay. One last try here. Boom. Smoke is going up to it. Harvest it. Awesome. And they should not get mad at you when the smoke is going. I don't know what happened to those honeycomb. And then hopefully they will fill this one up too. Maybe. I don't know now because they didn't fill up that last hive. It's interesting how that works. Maybe I need to destroy. I don't know. We're done for now. I absolutely love this new addition. I am so excited. I'm going to put these all around my house. But uh, for the rest of the episode, let's go do something else. So we can either eat the lovely apple. Which actually we could kill two birds with one stone. We could fight the ender dragon. <laughs> and then bring that with us and get two achievements. But I think I want to do this one. Make a banner using an enchanted apple. Been a while since I've been in here. So how does this work? I have all these. Once I get it, will I have it permanently unlocked? I sure hope so. So. Uh, uh, hang on. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Banner pattern. Thing. What? Thing? <laughs> what what kind of help is that? What is a thing? I guess everything's a thing. Wait, do I put that in there? No. Crap. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why do they call it thing? I guess that's it. Thing. It's still called thing. Whatever. There it is. Oh my god. Is this a one-time thing? I sure hope not. It better not. <gasps> there it is. Oh, oh, that's actually a nice color pattern I pick. Oh, yeah. That'll be... Oh, and I unlock it. Sweet. Now we can use that forever. That looks pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Achievement time complete. Look. They added baby squids. Did not know that. He's dead now. <laughs> I remember the first thing I thought of when I saw bees being introduced was hanging them from my house, kind of like that right there, that light. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Not today, though. I'm going to have to end it here, but... Oh, I just want to see bees roaming everywhere. <laughs> That's going to be so cool. Uh, today's comic question of the day comes from Flamespark. What's your favorite movie scene? I love that you asked this question because I actually do have a favorite... I actually have a ton, but... One that comes to mind when I just read that is, hands down, Batman v Superman, the Batman scene in the warehouse. If you've not seen it, do yourself the pleasure of, after this video, just typing YouTube, Batman warehouse scene. <laughs> That's all you have to type. One of the coolest scenes in superhero history because they made... Batflick, one of the coolest Batmans ever. I love Christian Bale's Batman, and I loved him for a long time, but I I actually love Batman v Superman, as a lot of people probably don't. It is such a good movie. <laughs> they did such a good job, and I, I was so like heartbroken when Ben Affleck said he wasn't going to do it anymore. Injustice League was a big disappointment. I, I think Henry kind of ruined that movie, but because of the whole mustache gate thing. <laughs> anyway, this is old news. Um... Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.